Hello and welcome back to CrazyRow Studio. In today's video, we will look at how to use SNMP to send notifications in network. So in the previous video, we have already talked about what notifications are in Networker and how they are useful. In case you have missed the video, the link to it is in the descriptions. I recommend you to take a look at it before you continue with this video. But if in case you are already familiar with notifications, then let's go ahead and follow along. Networker on version 19.4 supports SNMP version 2C and version 3. Both have the same content. The only difference is that SNMP version 3 introduces a security model to all trap messages, but it is still based on the SNMP version 2 trap pro networker is integrated with most of the itil incident management tools using snmp so understanding how to generate snmp traps will be very useful in automating the backup failure incident ticket creation snmp requires object identifiers in order to understand the message coming from a trap host so this is defined in an mib file for Networker, both SNMP version use the same MIB file that is located on the Networker server at the location slash opt nsr snmp in case of Linux and if in case in case of uh, Windows, it's the installation location which is usu usually C program file cmc networker slash nsr and slash snmp. This file is needed to be placed on the SNMP trap receiver and is usually the first thing a tooling admin will ask you in case of integrating your networker server with the tooling server, for example, like yours. So networker provides us with the command NSR trap to generate and send traps to a SNMP trap receiver. The command takes in the attribute that you see on your screen of which only the SNMP server name is mandatory. By default, a public community string is set. So in case the SNMP trap receiver is configured to accept any other community strings, then that needs to be explicitly mentioned here with the minus C switch. The minus I is used to pass the version of SNMP to be used. So by default, this is version two. And if in case you're using SNMP version 3 as on your trap receiver, then you have to mention 3 with the minus I switch. The other two attributes are optional. So refer to the uh, Networker Administrator Guide or the Networker Command app for more details. For those who are testing this in your lab setup, there is a description on how to install the SNMP trap receiver on a Linux and on a Windows machine in the Network Administrator Guide. Go ahead and follow those instructions and set up your own SNMP trap server. So this is the same setup that I have used in my lab. So let's take a look at how to configure an SNMP trap and uh, how it looks on the networker on the trap server side. All right, so before you start configuring the notification, make sure that your communication from the network server to the trap host is working. So you need the ports 161 and 162 for the communication between the network server and the SNMP trap host. Uh, you also need to have all the uh, relevant routes and other communication set before you go ahead. So one way of testing this is by using the NSR trap command on your uh, networker server. So what we'll try and do is let's go ahead and cat etc hosts and provide it as an input for NSR trap and my trap host in this case is SNMP trap. So just waiting for a few seconds there. And now you see that the command is successful and the content of my uh, host file, which is this, can be seen uh, received at the trap server. So if you look at the message itself, you will see that the message is coming from this host, uh, which is sent using UDP. IP addresses, this is the receiving uh, port address 162 and uh, that it is using the networker MIB 
it actually did not match any of the MIBs that it has but it just uh, displayed out the string that it has received as a trap from the server that has sent the trap all right so this is just to test this so if you are able to send a trap and receive the trap on the receiver side then you should be good to go now let's get on the NMC server and configure a few jobs there for it to be able to send the trap over so first let's look at uh, let's go to devices and let me see okay nothing is mounted so what we'll do is first let's change the notification so if you remember last time we had set up notification on uh, the policy so let's go ahead and change that so it is set to never so on completion meaning whatever the status is it will send a trap to my SNMP trap server so let me go ahead and copy that say click on ok let's configure another one at the workflow level so on completion again let's say ok and then one at the action level so for more details about uh, how these things work or how details uh, what is the difference between setting up the notification at these different uh, resources is in the other video which uh, whose link is in the description so let's put all this in here click on configure and then trigger a backup say yes now we'll just wait for this backup to complete so you see that the backup has failed let's wait for a couple of seconds and we should be able to see the notification on the trap server there you have it so we have again the string here so this is from the actions so if you remember actions has a more detailed uh, notification and here you will see that our failed backup that is DC1 has failed with the uh, yeah failed completely and that and the other notification that we have is from the workflow and this is the notification that we have from from the workflow again it is not as detailed as the uh, notification from the action but it just gives you an overview that uh, which action has failed and which for which workflow and for which policy. So this was uh, setting up the uh, SNMP on uh, Networker. So again, if you want to set up something in the general notification, you can very well do that as well. For example, let's just take a quick look at that. So let's go ahead and create a new notification here let's say new I'm just going to give it as generic and I'm just going to keep everything as is Oops. NSR trap and SNMP trap let's give ok and then let's trigger another backup to see what notifications we get in this case so let's give in yes so we should be able to see more than one so we should be able to see the notification related to backup getting started and the actions getting kicked off if there is a media failure event then that also is listed here All right, so the backup has already failed. So you will see that the, you will see a string here telling that the uh, the workflow has started with an action backup. We have a device media alert. We have a policy completion notification telling that it is completed. 
there is the uh, notification for media again telling that there's no you know uh, device matching because I have unmounted our device so that we receive these notifications uh, for the failure uh, just a quick note about the additional configurations that you need to do when you're using an uh, SNMP version 3 because this is a secured connection it needs a username and password and these configurations can be put in the networker server properties under the security tab so you have a section here for SNMP version 3 you can get these information from your um, uh, tools administrator or a, whatever team is managing your SNMP trap host so if in case you're using version 3 go ahead and fill this up thanks for sticking with me till the end of this video I hope you found this useful if you have any questions or comments share it with our community in the comment section below or you can drop me a message at my Twitter account I will see you on another video Goodbye.